we, we haven't talked about this, and I think it's been since his passing, but a, a real good teammate and friend of yours and mine, uh, the late, great Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Um, that day, I mean, how did it hit you that day when you heard about Kobe, you know, uh, you know, dying in a helicopter accident? You know, for me, we were – we were, I don't know what we was getting ready to do, but my wife, my son, I think might have been getting ready to go to the AAU game. Mm. And and I had just saw Kobe the week before and we were laughing and joking. He had, he was like, yeah, V here. You know, he had me and his wife. You got to mm-hmm. you know, go upstairs. Mm-hmm. I got to, you know, the little one with me. Because we were in the same tournament over mm-hmm. at, at Mamba Academy. And we getting ready. So we didn't have the TV on. And then um, Justin, who is Candace, is my wife's nephew, calls and like is crying on the phone like what what's wrong i thought something had happened to either his you know candidate's sister or candidate's mom and he's like no 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 it's like what like kobe what oh no it's, no it's fake news yeah, so we go and yeah. turn the tv on and i just sit there on the coffee table i'm like this shit ain't real it can't be real and then i just started crying because you hate for not i would i, I was crying because I, all i could think about is his parents yeah you know, people talk about Vanessa and talk about, but for me, after losing a daughter, you know how hard it is on his parents. And I, I started talking, then I thought about that immediately because of my situation. And I thought about his daughter, start thinking about his girls and his wife and like, wow. And then I was like, dad, I just saw him, man. I'm like, wow, we were just talking, you know, laughing and joking about, you know, how much Cameron loved his, 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 his I was about to say under armor, his um, body armor oh, drink yeah, and all yeah, this kind of stuff. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm gonna send you some, you know. It was just, we was just talking and laughing, man. So, well, good luck. And then, you know, I literally, you know, gave each other a hug and said, well, we'll see you around the circuit, right? right, right. And then it was just, it was, it was so unreal for me. And even when they asked me to come in the studio to talk about Kobe, I still felt like it was fake news. I just feel like this is not real. And it's just so hard when you you see such a person who went from being, you know, tunnel vision, I like the car, because mm-hmm. he was only about his craft. He was, drift, he he was only about, he was about, all yeah. about being the best. Yeah. And then his, that vision story opened up where he became a better teammate. Um, you know, he became, a, you know, a better father, a, a better husband, a better person. And I don't mean it in the sense that, you know, when I say better, I mean, he went from being great to greater. So mm-hmm. better can, you know, so because I know a lot of people are like, what do you mean by better? I'm like, I mean, he's got even better than what he was. Right, right. 